Do you want to see the current month as a default selection? Or is it even possible to show the latest month name itself as default selection, which will automatically change with new latest month? Let's do it from the scratch. Here I have my column chart. I am using this period slicer to select the year and month. My three basic measures are total sales, total cost, and margin percent. First of all, I will show you how to bring here current month. And then, I will show how can we show the latest month name as the default month name inside the slicer. This is my year month column, and I will add a calculated column named as period. For this, I will multiply the year column by 100, and then add the month number column. This way, I will get the year and month in the number format. Based on this, I will apply a sort order for my year month column. Next, I will add one another column. I will name it as, with current month text. If I write here max a period, I can see that I have June 2023 as the latest month. Now I will validate. If my period column is equal to this max a period, then that will be called as current month, else I will return the same year month. From the report view, I will change the field of the slicer from year month to this newly created column. If required, I can change the name of the slicer header. This way, I get the option to select the current month as my default selection which will automatically filter for the latest month. This is the first solution. Many times people demand to show the actual current month name as the default selection, and for that there is no such feature, but we are going to apply a workaround for this. I will again use the same year month column, and I can delete this additional column. Because this time, I need to change my DAX measures for total sales and total cost. First of all, I will create the new DAX measure for my new total sales. My variable name is max period. Here I will calculate the max of the period column. Since I have a slicer on my report page, I can use remove filter function to ignore the slicer selection so that it will calculate the overall max period. In my return statement, I will validate if there is any filter on the year month slicer, I will calculate the total sales. Otherwise, I need to calculate the total sales for the max period by default. I will copy the same expression for total cost as well. Even after changing these measures, I still need an additional DAX measure to complete the actual requirement. Before that, let me quickly create this measure for total cost and new margin percentage. I will just change the total sales to total cost at each places and remaining logic will be same. My new margin percent will use the new total sales and new total cost measure. Now select the column chart visual and replace all our old measures to new total sales total cost and margin percent measures. Now if you will select a period, it will filter for that year month, but if we don't apply any filter, it will be by default filtered for the latest period, which is in this case is June 2023. This is all right for the functionality perspective. Now I will apply a little tweak to show the latest year month inside the slicer as well. I will create a new DAX measure, which I will call as latest month. This measure will be almost similar to the new total sales measure. The only difference is, in the return statement, I will validate, if there is any filter on the date table, it should return blank string, else it will calculate the max of year month column, where period is equal to the max period stored in the variable. Now insert a new card visual, and then add this new latest month measure into this. I will format the size of this card, and then place inside the slicer. I can manually enter the values of size, based on our slicer position, and the text size. From Format menu click on Bring to Front, and from Formatting section search for Maintain Layer, and then enable this option. This way it will always be on the front. Now I need to dynamically format its background so that it will not be visible when some other value is selected from the slicer. So I am creating this small measure to apply the conditional formatting, where I will validate if there is any filter applied in the slicer, it should return the hex code for the transparent color. Otherwise, it should return hex code for white background. Now from the background color option, I will click on function and then will select based on field. Then I will select my format color measure. Click on OK and we are done with our solution. Now you can use this in your projects. At least till the time Microsoft is not adding this feature into the native slicers. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.